Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Today I'm going to show you how you can get into sampling, especially if you're a beginner, because I know it can seem uh, really, really tedious and all that, and it, it can be in some cases, but we are in 2020 and there are tools that you can utilize to make your sampling a lot quicker. Okay, so first things first, when I go into sampling, I like to think about these three certain steps, okay? The first step is the method. How am I going to sample? There are countless ways to, to flip a sample. So that's the first thing you're going to have to decide. The second thing is how are you going to make your chops, all right? That is the main part of sampling is getting the right chops and then flipping it, doing all that. And it's more, when I, more to it than just chops. You know, there's endless amount of things you can do to be creative and flip it and have your own kind of sauce on it. And then the third thing is arrangement, all right? How are you going to arrange your your sample and your chops to make it fluent and make it sound good, okay? So first things first is we're going to get into method. Here's the sample I got. I used a cymatic sample. That way I can keep it royalty-free, but most of the time, you know, you can use, you can record an old-school song or uh, you can sample an old-school record or song. I said that wrong. Excuse me. But here we go. Let me Let me play this. Okay, so that sounds pretty dope already, but like I said, there are a bunch of different methods, okay? You can decide to just sample it like this by right-clicking it, going to chop, going to time-based, and chopping in bars, beats, half beats, quarter beats. Uh, that is a method that I like to use a lot. But since this is a tutorial for FL Studio 20, we're going to show off a more, uh, a new, like a more newer, a new method. That's what I should say. A new method that is way easier than just trying to find the transients. Now, we're going to talk about what a transient is, okay? If I zoom in on this audio, you see how uh, you can see it. Look at it. You see how there's these little bumps here? Let me get the actual slicer on so I can show you. You see how there's these little bumps every once in a while? Those are like transients, okay? Those are what you really got to look for when you're sampling is those big spots. And you can see that they're not really on the line. They're actually off of it a little bit. You see right where it gets bigger like that? Um, it's not exactly on this quantized line. That's because this this melody was probably played by an actual human, you know, so that the, the humans aren't going to be directly on point. So with that being said... I'm going to show you this cool method. Um, I'm actually going to delete this melody out of here. Switch the tempo to like 70. Bring that sample back in. Right click it. Go to time warp sample. You have to be running the latest version of FL Studio to be able to do this. Time warp sample. And it says that this sample is at 96. We know it's at 80 BPM because it says it right here. So if you know the tempo of your sample, you can find, figure that out pretty easily just by listening to it and uh, getting like a tempo tapper right up here. You know, and just tapping the tempo to that melody. Okay, so I'm going to hit sync on this though after I right click it and actually make it right with the tempo. So this is actually an 80 BPM sample. And then when I hit sync, it's going to sync it to the 100 BPM temp, or sorry, to the 70 BPM tempo that I'm at. So we're going to actually go down 10, uh, uh, 10 BPM. You see, and it'll match it to it. So that's a cool little trick you can do right away. And now we're going to right click it, go to chop and do time based, do bars. You see it chopped it in bars there, but I'm actually going to chop it more here. Like so I'm hitting C to access this little slicer tool. I'm going to hit P to go back to my pencil. All right, now that we got it all chopped up, we can take our actual chops now from the sample. So I like to do it random, honestly, because then I really feel like the groove comes in. But you do you. So I'm going to mute this. I'm just going to grab random ones. Maybe this third one right here. This first one. 
this third one, this fourth one. And kind of just keep dragging it and seeing if I can come up with a cool combo. Actually, just gonna start messing with this more. So I'm gonna start even cutting these, or yeah, cutting these shorter like this, and doing some weird shit to it. So I'm gonna right-click this, make unique a sample. So it's just that selection that I have there, just this little part, and then I can hit reverse. Oops. And since I made that unique as sample, I wanted to stretch it there, but I couldn't because it was just that little part. So I'm going to take another one and make it as unique as sample so I can have it be the whole thing here when I hit reverse. See, that's dope all right now a cool thing you can do in fl studio is you can right click the track and go to consolidate these sorry consolidate this track from track start and hit start uh you can copy these settings if you don't know um any uh, it's just going to consolidate to a wave sound you want to be on 32 bit flow you can hit leave remainder here make sure it's in stereo resampling 32 point sync High quality for all plugins, disable maximum polyphony, uh, put the save playlist markers on, the save loop markers, and then these ones you can take off, and then PDC silence, insert effects, and master effects you want on. And then you can actually sign in through SoundCloud if you wanted to do it like that. When you're, This is for when you're actually exporting songs, but since we're going to consolidate this, it's technically just giving it like a pre-compose almost. So I'm going to hit start on this. Get rid of all of these chops because I have it now all consolidated in one track here. So that's super nice. All right, now we can even do more stuff to this to sample it. So I can double click it up here on track. I can bring that to four. And that's going to link it to mixer track four, all right? So now I'm going to put effects on it, maybe mess with the pitch and stuff like that. So let's listen. I like that just pitched uh, down a little bit a hundred cents okay, I'm gonna add a let's see here what should I add I was thinking a gross beat to maybe give it like a slow triplet let's see here see how this sounds now nah, I think that gets too low what happens if I mm, I like how it's pitched right there already okay I'm actually gonna consolidate this again just so I can get this pitch consolidated into it without it having to be there. Here, you'll see what I mean. So let me consolidate it. Start. Delete this one. Now if I click this, that pitch isn't there anymore, but it's already in it because it was just consolidated into the file. Oh, shit. It consolidated with the uh, grow speed on. That's my bad. Okay, so now here's the one with the 100 sends down. The grow speed's off. Because when you consolidate, it also consolidates with the master effect since we have that checked. So let me redo that. Okay, now it's good. Now let me pitch this up all the way, up a whole octave. I'm going to put this grow speed back on and see how it sounds here. Okay. 
it sounds pretty trash by itself, but I think it would be pretty dope as a layer, actually. So I'm going to sh hold shift, click, and then drag this. I can drag it down, right click this, make this uh, unique. Then I'm going to rename this one as lower, call this one higher. Turn the pitch off on this one and change the track so it doesn't have that gross beat effect on it. Oh wait, no, I do want it to have that effect on it, actually. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. Okay, yeah, because I don't want, if it has that effect, it's going to be way too, way too deep, so. Now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put an EQ on on that high that high layer and take some of these lows out of it. I think that sounded pretty dope. I'm about to put some drums on it, and then I'll let you guys listen to that. But that is pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, and support the channel, because I really appreciate that, guys. There's going to be a lot more content coming. But I'll make another video if you guys want to see um, some of the other methods, because I only really showed using that newer method, which is that new, new time, and then some playlist stuff. So let me get, let me know if you guys want to want me to showcase any of those other methods on how to sample. So much love everybody. You stay safe out there and keep grinding on your craft. Peace.